Based on what we saw in the previous part of the session, let's try multiplying 105 with 97. Both numbers are close to 100. So let's consider the base as 100. Once we decide the base, we find the deviations. 105 minus 100 is 5 and 97 minus 100 is minus 3. Sum on the left and product on the right. 105 plus minus 3 is equal to 102 and 5 times minus 3 is minus 15. As we cannot have a negative number on the right, we subtract 1 from the left hand figure and add the base to the right hand figure. On the left hand side, we will have 102 minus 1 and on the right, we add 100. 102 minus 1 is 101 and minus 15 plus 100 is 85. That's our answer. 105 times 97 is equal to 10,185. You should try solving the next one. It's easy and I'm sure you will get it right. 1007 times 998. I give you 10 seconds and your time starts now. We use the same technique. Base, deviations, sum and product. We can choose the base as 1000 as both numbers are very close to it. Finding the deviations should have been pretty easy. 1007 minus 1000 is 7 and 998 minus 1000 is minus 2. Once the deviations are done, we write the sum on the left and the product on the right. 1007 plus minus 2 is 1005 and 7 times minus 2 is minus 14. What do we do when we have a negative number on the right hand side? We subtract 1 from the left hand figure and add the base to the right hand figure. Subtract a 1 and add the base. 1005 minus 1 is 1004 and 1000 minus 14 is 986. As there are three zeros in the base, we can have three digits on the right. So we can write a 986 here. That's the correct answer. 1007 times 998 is equal to 1,004,986. Isn't this super quick? With just four simple steps, we can multiply huge numbers in a few seconds. So when the figure on the right is negative, remember to use this technique. Subtract 1 from the left and add the base to the right. But have you noticed something? In all our examples till date, we have chosen the base as a multiple of 10. 10, 100, 1000 and so on. But what if the numbers are something like this? 397 times 399. Here, both the numbers are close to 400. Can we choose 400 as the base? Don't worry, there is a technique to solve such examples too. We see that in the coming sessions. <laughs>